Hey guys, so um, today I wanted to do a quick review on some makeup that I got from the shop Miss A online shop. Um, I just did a haul. Oh god, what, maybe about a month ago? And I did buy some more stuff. I didn't do a haul on that though because I didn't buy a whole lot. But I wanted to show you some of the things I bought and do a mini review of each thing. And um, if you guys would like to see more um, of a review on any particular product, please request it and I will do a more in-depth um, review. This camera is such a mess. I, I keep looking at it and I feel like I'm not looking at it. Like, it, it's a disaster. But anyway, um, let me get started. Um, I actually really wanted um, one of the clean color Alpha Girl palettes and I did get one. This one's called, um, I think it's High Definition, or it's the second palette. There's four palettes, and this is palette number two. Um, this is what it looks like. It's holographic, real shiny, really, 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 really pretty palette. It's not that big. No, it's decent size, not too big. And it has a mirror, a full-size mirror, so I'm going to do my best to not blind you but you see all the colors. I have used this and I absolutely love it. It comes with one of the little um, foam brush things but um, the colors are really pigmented and very very nice and they do stay on so I do really highly recommend this. I'm not going to swatch anything because I'm not doing a, a major review on everything. I'm just kind of showing you what I have um, I do have another palette from there. It's the Clean Color Girls Talk 3 palette. And here it is. Now mind you, these palettes are a dollar a piece. So you're getting, in this one there's 38 colors. This one, let me count real fast so I can tell you how many are in here. It's 4, 8, 12, 24 colors in the Alpha Girl palettes and this one there's 38 colors. Now I'm going to show you. There's no mirror on this one which is fine and it does come with a little brush. It is a little messy because I do use this every day. Um, and the colors are great. There's no smell, no no um, you know they don't come off like you would imagine for a dollar you're getting 38 shadows they wouldn't last but these really do last. I highly recommend that. I also have a blush. This is the Miss Chick blush. And I got this in Sunbaked. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but yeah, there's no way you could really see that. It's in tiny, tiny, tiny print on top of the barcode, uh, the color. But this is it. It's very, 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 very pigmented. I'm just going to do a quick swatch of this. I said I wasn't going to do swatches, but this one I can do a swatch. Look how pigmented that is. That That's insane. That is insane for a blush. Insane. I'm just going to take it off because I don't want this on my hand. But yeah, that that's insane. And even after rubbing it off, it's still kind of on there. It, it's insane. But yeah, love that. I kind of use that as a, um, kind of like a bronzer. I put it on my cheeks, blend it out real good because it is very dark and very pigmented so you do need to blend it out. You need to have a really good brush for that. Um, what else do I have? Um, this here, this is the Santé, Santé, I'm not sure how to really pronounce that. Santé, um, Big Smoky Eye Shadow Stick. And this is in, what is the color? Number four, white. Now these are retractable, which I did not expect. I did not expect it to be retractable. Um, I'm not, you're probably not going to be able to see this swatched, but yeah, I guess you can see it a little bit. Shimmery. It's a nice base for an eyeshadow. I do recommend it for a base. Um, for a dollar, you can't go wrong, really. I mean, I'm always on the hunt for um, affordable makeup. Um, I was selling Unique products for a while. I'm not knocking Unique. I do love their products, but I just couldn't afford to do it anymore. So um, I stopped presenting for there because I just couldn't. I just couldn't afford it, and I wasn't making enough sales to say um, it was worth it for me. Um, so anyway, 
back onto this. I'm sorry, my hair is a is a mess. I mean, look at me. I look like I was hit by a truck. But anyway, um, <laughs> sorry. Let's get back to this. Um, this is the Clean Color um, Girls Talk Waterproof Mascara. I have used this. Um, as far as waterproof goes, I'm not sure, honestly. Um, it did kind of run one day, so I'm not sure, but it is a great mascara for the price. I mean, we're talking a dollar. This is the brush, so it's a nice brush. It's a small brush, really small, but it does its job, so. Um, as far as lengthening goes, I would say no. Maybe um, thickening, but not lengthening. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a mascara, and it's a cute package, so I like it. Um, next thing, this is the M&M Two-Way Powder. This is really shiny, so <laughs> it's a, a powder, just a face powder. I got it in natural, which is number three. Let me show you. Number three, natural. Now, this, this color is a little darker than I had expected it to be. Um, it does match well with my skin tone. Um, let me see if I can get a... Yeah, you can't really get a good swatch of this. Um, yeah, maybe you can, actually. Let me see. Hello! Yeah, you see that little... See that right there? Right here? Right under the white? That's the swatch of that. Um, it has great, great coverage. Um, it does have a little bit of like a perfumey smell. Um, if you're sensitive to smells, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. Um, some people are really, really sensitive to scent. Um, me, personally, I'm not. So, um, it doesn't bother me. And the coverage is great for a dollar, so I can't complain. Um, and it also comes with a mirror, which for a dollar, who would expect it to come with a mirror? Not me. And then it comes with a little spongy, which I do use it, as you can see. But for the most part, I do use my brush to put this on. But yeah, really cute packaging, you know, for a dollar, like I said, can't complain. Um, as far as makeup goes, I've also gotten this little makeup bag. Very cute, very small, very compact. Great to take out, great to put in your purse, whatever. Um, let me take some of this off my hand real fast because I'm going to do one more swatch. Um, as far as the palettes go, I mean, I know I'm doing swatches of almost everything except for the palettes. Um... There's so many colors in there, um, so my thing with that is, if you want to see more on the palettes, please let me know. I can dedicate a whole video to the palettes and do swatches of the colors, but just this video it would be way too long if I did that. So anyway, back to this. I got the Clean Color Tanned Roar shimmer bronzer. Now I was stalking the website to see when this came back in uh, stock because there was only one color in stock and it was the real the darkest one and I obviously can't do dark. I mean I'm very fair. Um, but this is the the lightest one. This is the Bali shimmer. Uh, yeah. It's right on top of that barcode there but I can barely see it because it's so tiny. <laughs> um, let me open this. Here it is. It's really 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 nice. This is like, now this is saying a lot because I am a big bronzer person. This is the best bronzer I have ever used. Now mind you, I've used a lot of bronzer. A lot. Because I'm fair. And during the winter, I like to wear bronzer. Now, this is fantastic. Um, it has a shimmer to it, and if you don't like shimmer, they also have these bronzers without the shimmer. They have them in the matte formula. But I love shimmer, so I'm all about me some shimmer. Now this is, is gorgeous. I mean, look at this. It's like a gold color. Now, when you put it on, it doesn't make you turn gold, everybody. It doesn't look like Oompa Loompa, okay? Now, mind you, I'm into bronzer. And I've had bronzer before that's made me look orange to the point where I've been called an Oompa Loompa. If you guys know what an Oompa Loompa is. But anyway, um, here it is. It is light. And it is shimmery. But it does not give off that orange color. Now, looking at this, you may be like, Danielle, that looks orange. But when it goes on, it doesn't look orange. At 
all. And I was shocked. Like, I honestly bought this for the pa for the packaging because I thought the packaging was cute. I was like, oh, yeah, this is cute. Let me try it. I, I wasn't expecting much. But for me to say that this is the best bronzer I've ever used, that's huge. Now, I have to stock up on these before they sell out because my luck, they'll sell out and I'll never see it again. So I got to get more of those. But anyway, best bronzer ever. Okay, this one is another mascara. Okay, this is by Clean Color as well. The other mis this everything pretty much I have here is from Clean Color. The blush was Clean Color. The eyeshadows are from Clean Color. Uh, this was from Santé. But you know, pretty much almost everything is Clean Color. Now this is the Clean Color Waterproof Mascara Botox. It's called. Lash Botox. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like Botox, I guess is what they're called. Botox, you know. <laughs> but they're saying Botox. Because look at this little bow. Now look. The little bow. It's supposed to be a comb for your lashes, I guess, to comb them out beforehand. But look how cute this is. Look how adorable that is. For a dollar. So cute. And it is waterproof. And it even gives you directions on the side on how to use the little comb. It's cute. Now, let me show you the brush for this. Now, I love the brush on this. I think it's great. It, it lengthens and volumizes. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, that is a beautiful brush. That is a big brush. I personally like bigger brushes. Some people don't. But, um, you know, it's great. Honestly, I like this one better than the um, zebra print one. So if you're going to, if you need a mascara or want a mascara, try this one out. And this one is definitely waterproof, so that's huge. Very huge. Now I'm going to talk about, uh, oh, this. <laughs> this is a um, clean color eyeshadow primer, and it's matte, eyeshadow primer matte. Now look at the size of this thing. It's like a um, like a lip gloss type of thing, and it has 0.63 fluid ounces in it, which is a lot <laughs> for a primer. Now look, it's a doe foot applicator, very creamy. I'm just gonna show you real fast, right here, and you just rub her in, and it's matte. Goes on and it dries matte. Oh my god, I almost dropped it. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, this was a great, great buy. I needed some sh some primer because I'm running out of the primer that I have right now. And the primer that I'm using right now is really expensive. It's from Unique, so I can't buy it again. I just don't have the money. Um, I love that primer, but this one's pretty good too. It does, it doesn't stay on as long as the Unique one does, but this is pretty good for a dollar. I can't complain. Um, next thing I have from there is a BR lipstick. It's the BR Pure Matte Lipstick and this is in Pure Nude. Now this one, this is how it looks. I like the tube. The tube is the same color as the lipstick. This is a beautiful lipstick. It smells really nice. Um, see if I can get you guys to see it. The only thing I don't like about this lipstick is it kind of makes your lips stick together. I mean, and I know that because they're matte, that's why it does that. That's the color right there. Really pretty. Nice nude, pinky color. Um, you know, some matte lipsticks don't do that, but this one does. But I can't complain for a dollar. I mean, it's a great pigmentation. It stays on, but the only thing is it does make your lips stick. So if you don't like that kind of thing, I wouldn't get that. Um, the next thing that I have here is a Princessa, I guess that's how you say it, Princessa, um, matte lipstick. And this, this packaging is cute. For a dollar, that is cute. It reminds me of the Revlon lipsticks. I think it's the Revlon lipsticks. They have like a gold base like this and they have the little, you know, thingy there. Um, but yeah, great, pa great packaging. This is in Light Rose. It's very similar to the other one I just showed you. It, the color anyway it's a little bit darker but it is similar they're all around the same color I'm trying to do pink for the summer because I think pink is a pretty color for the summer bottom one see that yeah there is a difference 
the bottom one is the light rose, and that one was the pure nude from the BR brand. But yeah. Cute. Very cute. So that one was Princessa. Now I have another clean color product. This is a clean color matte, Madly Matte lipstick. And this is in Congo Pink. This smells great. Oh, it smells like candy. They all smell like candy. And the tube is the same color as the lipstick. Now this color is very similar. Oh, it's very creamy. That's the difference between. The other two are very dry. This is creamy. That's the bottom one. But you see, like, the, the Congo Pink and the Light Rose are kind of the same color. But this one, the formula I like a lot better than the Princessa. I probably won't buy, I probably won't rebuy these, but I will rebuy these and these, just because. This one, eh, it's a little more drying than the BR, but these two are definite winners for me. Okay. You know, but of course, you know, buying from a, a website that everything's a dollar, you are going to come across some things you're not a fan of, which makes perfect sense. Anyway, um, next thing is be from Beauty Treats. This is a concealer crayon. I really needed a concealer badly. This one is retractable as well. There's a lot of product in here. I'm going to show you. And it's still going. So I don't want to push it all the way up because then, God forbid, it doesn't go back down. I'll be mad. <laughs> so, here it is. Very good coverage. Good for underneath the eyes if you like to put concealer under your eyes. I highly recommend that. But yeah, I mean, for a dollar, I mean, you really can't complain. Um, I know I can't. I'm not going to sit here and complain about anything. And then I also got the clean color um, eyelash curler. It also came with an extra rubber thing um, inside for the curling of the lashes. But yeah, I mean, this is nice too. It's a little flimsy. But for a dollar, I'm not going to complain. It does the job. It is flimsy, but as long as you take care of it, it should be fine. I wouldn't complain about it. But yeah, that's everything that I have. I also have a clean color um, waterproof eyeliner. I don't know where it is, but it's good. It goes on nice and smoothly. Um, it doesn't last. It's supposed to be waterproof. That's another one that's not really waterproof. It says it's waterproof, but it's not. But the only thing that I would say is waterproof, that says it is, is this. This is definitely waterproof. So if you're looking for a waterproof mascara, give this one a try. Alright, this video was really, really, really long. Um, if you made it to the end, congratulations. If not, I don't blame you. Um, I am going to be probably doing a small color pop order. I should probably be shot on site for ordering any more makeup because I don't need any more makeup. But yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm plotting an order right now. I'm not really sure uh, what colors I want. <laughs> so um, anyway, when I do that, I will um, do a haul video on that. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.